Hi YouTube, uh, this is unboxing the TP-Link Hatcher VR 2600. I'm just, uh, I just received this today and I just uh, want to show you the uh, unboxing and to see what it contains and then so uh, let's start from here. need a very high speed uh, router uh, this is uh, for VDSL and ADSL so if you use using fiber optics it's gonna work fine and if you use any standard broadband uh, that is still gonna work fine for you and it's a dual band router so 2.4 gigahertz frequency and uh, 5.0 gigahertz frequency so I think this should be able to handle my request. So let's go into the box. Okay, this is the this is the ADSL filter. Basically, uh, this is the uh, the two jacks uh, for the phone jack and the modem jack. So I believe this should be a filter, not a splitter. But different terminology, and this is the box. Actually sealed. Looks brand new. These are the four Ethernet ports, and the one and the DSL port here. And I've got a fiber connection. There's the power, and here's for the power adapter. This for the four antennas. Got three year warranty, register to activate your free third year guarantee. So I'll be doing this registration later. Uh, for technical support, uh, this is for the contact center in Europe and um, other part of the world. And the quick installation guide. Have time to go. Now, the four antennas. Uh, I'm going to install them shortly and the RJ45 cable uh, for the line I've got the RJ11 and the power adapter so that's all we've got here <coughs> uh, no driver so just set it up uh, through the normal configuration using the lanyard okay so the next phase here is to start Assembling the Archer 2600, take out the four antennas, got TP link, so got the first one here, okay. Now the four antennas for the install. Let's turn this around. And this is the power adapter. Okay. The power adapter goes here. <coughs> The telephone goes in here, it's already labeled, and here it says modem. That and you see the square jack for the um, for the DSL cable that goes in there, and this goes into the telephone jack on the wall, which I'm gonna show you shortly. You 
can use the LAN jack, not very long, that's the standard that any provider, telecom provider or router manufacturer will give to you. So you connect it to one of the LAN jack, one of the yellow jack here, and then connect it to your laptop or to your PC. And uh, so that will be the next phase now, but I would prefer to connect it wirelessly or I'm going to show both how to do this both. So there will be two different videos that will be showing that for you. Here. There is a cover on the open socket. This socket is actually called NTE5 socket. All you just need to do is to leave this up and then slot this in. So I'm just going to use this one. Okay, it should be facing this side. That it is. 